Hi, Mark from Whole Latte Law. Today we're going to go over how to adjust the brew pressure on a Profitech Pro 500. Uh, that would be indicated on this gauge here. Um, you just need a couple of tools to do this. It's really pretty easy. A blind filter basket that comes with the machine, um, a thrill, three millimeter and two and a half millimeter Allen head wrench, and a flat bladed screwdriver. Now just so you know, uh, all prosumer machines that get sent out from Whole Latte Love do go on the bench and get tested and uh, set up to deliver exactly nine bar of pressure at the group head. So to get started, the first thing we're going to do is just remove the uh, drip tray here and we'll set that aside and we'll also remove the cup warming tray here. Uh, we've got four, four screws to take out up here but four on the bottom that we're going to go for first. Okay, so I've turned the machine around. Now what I like to do um, with the uh, porta filter in place here, uh, with that in place, turn the machine around, and I like to just tip the machine, tilt the machine up, um, and that porta filter there will hold, keep it from going over. Now alternately, what you could do is lay it on its side, put some towels down to protect the surface here. So first of all, what we're gonna do is remove, to get the case off, is remove these four uh, Allen head uh, screws here. Um, those are three millimeter, so we'll get those out. And I'm taking the, uh, the, these out first. If I take the top screws out first, uh, it won't hold in place quite so well. And a little bit more. There we go. Okay, with those out, then we can set the machine back down. And now we've got four uh, screws up here. These are the two and a half millimeter um, up top, and they're the only the only screws up top, so we'll take those off. And we'll be kind of careful that we don't scratch the machine up here at all. And there are those four, and these are the uh, kind of the rounded head ones that go up here. Uh, we remove the water reservoir, we'll need that coming up. And then this top here, oh, let me just get that screw. And we can set that aside as well. Now, once, once you're inside, you may or may not have to uh, loosen these uh, Allen heads here. Um, those are three millimeter as well. I think mine are already kind of loose. And after that, just spread and pull the cover back carefully. Now, just a reminder, we do have the cover off um, and uh, the machine does have to be on to do this. You want to be very careful. Uh, lots of uh, power potentially running through some of these wires, so you don't want to touch any of those. Um, so the next step here, get our machine around. We're going to take that porta filter off, and we're going to put in the uh, blind porta filter here, the blind basket, and we'll lock that into the machine. Okay, so I filled the water reservoir oh, about halfway here. We don't need lots. Uh, we're going to put that in place because we do have to uh, actually run some water here to set this gauge up. Okay, to get going, we're just going to turn the power on on our machine. That's on. We have the uh, blind basket or the back flush disc, whatever you want to call it here, loaded in the porta filter. Um, and then let's see where we are for pressure right now. So to do that, we'll just keep an eye on the pressure gauge here, flip up the brew lever, and see where we got. There we go. Eight and nine. Now you might think nine, hey, that's exactly where you want to be. Thing is, this machine um, loses about a, a bar of pressure internally. So where you really want to be is 10. Now this gauge is a little confusing. So 10 is actually the very end of the green here where this line comes down. So to change that, we'll just take our screwdriver. We can leave the machine going here. Come around to the back to the OPV valve. To increase pressure, we turn this clockwise. Now we're about a, a bar short and I know from experience it's about half a turn. So we're going to give it half a turn here. And we'll come along, around here, see where we are on the gauge. And now we're right right there, right at 10. So that's perfect. So just half a turn clockwise about per bar of pressure so we can stop that. And then that's all there is to it. If your pressure was too high, you'd, you'd turn uh, counterclockwise. And to finish up, I'm just going to turn the machine off here. Um, we will also unplug the machine. No reason to have power popping around in there if we don't need it. Um, we'll take off the water reservoir. 
then we will replace the uh, main cabinet, um, then that, that top piece. So just kind of the reverse of how we went. Um, when you put that the outer casing back on, uh, those little these guys right here um, need to mate into this area right here. Sometimes you need to, to loosen these up just a little bit um, to get them to go into those slots. But once that's on, um, you can give these just a little tighten uh, if you needed to loosen them up. Put those uh, screws back in the bottom um, and then the uh, top. And then that's it. And that's all there is to adjusting the brew pressure on a Profitec Pro 500. The number one source for everything coffee, wholelattelove.com.